you've been subscribed to the channel for more than a few months now, you probably remember a video a little while back where I actually went through how I store my graded cards, which was basically just in a trash pile in my dresser. It was absolutely terrible. So that product that I reviewed was actually this one right here. This is the Display Vault Card Edition, I think it's called. I'd never seen anything like it before, so I picked one up for myself. I paid for it full price. I actually enjoyed it so much that I wanted to share it with the community in case you guys also are storing your cards in a pile in your dresser. I still love this thing. It's completely stocked with all of my slabs and it's got all of my favorite ghost Pokemon right here in the reverses from the uh, Japanese 151. But long story short, for the first time ever, a brand actually reached out to me and wanted to know if I would be interested in checking out one of their new products. And that's the product that you saw in the intro. And I actually have it right here. This is the Display Vault Air. Now I wanna be perfectly clear, this is not a sponsored video. Uh, they didn't ask me to say or do anything with this whatsoever. Basically just said that I can open it on the channel and uh, offer one to you guys in the Fang Gang if you're interested as a giveaway. He said I could basically make up the rules for how I wanna run the giveaway. So I think we're gonna do it classic Pokefang style. All you have to do to enter the giveaway is like this video, subscribe to join the Fang Gang, and leave a comment down below what cards would you have perfectly displayed in your Display Vault card edition. And uh, yeah, massive shout out to Vaulted for supporting the channel. This is a first for us here, so I'm actually really excited and I love these products so far. All right, now let's kick off one of the quickest unboxings you're ever going to see on YouTube. All right, switching over the card cam here. So right off the bat, oh, we have the Vaulted Vinyl logo up here. And like I said, I think they did a rebrand recently because it's no longer Vaulted Vinyl. The new name I actually really like is just Vaulted and it has a brand new logo. So, so I'm not sure if they've switched over all of the packaging with the new Vaulted logo on here. But uh, if you do win the giveaway and you get a box that looks different than this, uh, just know that that is why that they did a rebrand and I actually really, really like it. Um, so anyway, like I said, this is the Display Vault Air card edition. And the reason that it says card edition is because uh, I actually didn't know this at first, but they have a whole bunch of different Funko Pop uh, products as well, where you can display your Funko Pops in either cases or wall displays like this. Lots and lots of really great options for that as well if you're into collecting those. Honestly, I might have to get a nine slot version for the Funkos because I have all of the Pokemon Center exclusive pearlescent Funkos. They're basically just all in a giant pile, kind of like how my slabs were before I got a uh, vaulted product. So maybe we'll have to do another video on that. But uh, yeah, you guys can see the details right here. No assembly required, ready to go right out of the box. Just mount and display. Just think about how easy that it could possibly be. It's easier than that. And then the friction fit technology uh, that secures and protects your slabs. When you go to put your slabs in here, they fit like perfectly and they don't fall out. So they're in there like nice and snug. It's kind of hard to describe. I'll have to show you guys. And it does display, like I said in the intro, nine PSA or CGC slabs. Just to show you guys how simple this unboxing is actually going to be. Uh, I'm gonna open the box right here so you guys can see it all because you can't see it on my card cam. And there it is. Obviously that carbon fiber looks fantastic when the light hits it like that. And that's literally it. This is it right here. This weighs like, I can't describe to you how much this weighs. It weighs like as much as a few booster packs. I think, I think I'm actually gonna go weigh it real quick. Okay, yeah, you don't have to worry about this falling or ripping off of your wall because it only weighs 14 ounces. That's ridiculously light. I can't like describe to you guys enough like how insanely light this is. It's like an empty box or something. You guys can see it's actually only one inch thick. I'll show it to you on this camera, but it's actually only one inch thick right here. So it's probably hard to see because of my black background, but yeah, barely takes up any space. You don't have to worry about, you know, anybody you live with complaining about this thing taking up too much space because it's literally thinner than most picture frames. So this thing is really nice. And to be honest with you, I didn't expect this, but the front details of this carbon fiber are really, really nice. Like the way that the light hits it, obviously you guys can see how nice that is, but I didn't expect the entire back to also be carbon fiber. That's like, I don't know why that's necessary, but to be honest with you, I actually think that's low key a great feature because if you didn't want to uh, drill holes in your walls, maybe you live in an apartment, you're not allowed to drill holes in your walls, uh, maybe you can use those command strips on the back of this and mount it. I don't know, that's not suggested in the uh, instructions or anything like that, but I would imagine you could based on how ridiculously light this thing is. So basically it comes with the Display Vault Air unit itself, which like I said, is very, very small, weighs basically nothing. 
It also comes with four mounting screws. Super straightforward and simple. There are pre-drilled holes in the top corners here. I don't know if you can see that or not. Holes in the top and bottom, and they're sunken in there, so you don't have to worry about them damaging your cards, which is pretty nice. And then there are some instructions here, which are very straightforward. It's basically just, basically just screw it into the wall, uh, obviously before you put the cards in it. And uh, that's pretty much it. Use a level uh, if you want it to be nice and level. So I'm gonna show you guys real quick how you actually put the cards in here and what that's like. So I'm actually gonna grab some of my slabs out of my uh, display vault case and throw them in here so you guys can actually see what the experience is in terms of like the friction fit. So I have a CGC 10, this is the Haunter Reverse Hollow, just the regular one, not the Master Balls. I actually have those getting ready to get graded. And then what you basically do is you can just put them in there and then just push down and that's it. It's that simple. If you want to get them out, you'd push down on the top or the bottom and they'll swing out because there are these little divots right here where you can actually press the card into the top or the bottom and it'll come right out. It's that simple. They don't, they don't fall out. I'm flipping it completely upside down and they're not going anywhere. So we have that one right there. I'm going to stick my Gengar right there and then my Gengar VMAX right there. Nice friction fit, not falling out. Having something like this on your wall, especially if you have like a full set of something, like like maybe you have all of the the starters for 151 in different languages or something like that. Like it says on the box, it's ready to assemble. It comes with one solid sheet. It's very, very simple and straightforward. And if you wanted to put a whole bunch of these up on your wall, so that's basically it, guys. It's super, super simple. It's probably gonna be like one of my shortest videos of all time and they look phenomenal when you put like four or six of these all in a row which is actually what i'm probably going to do so i'm not going to mount this to the wall just yet because in terms of placement i'm going to end up moving it eventually when i get more of them so i'll show you guys in a future video if i do a studio tour when this is finalized and i have some really big plans for what different types of themes and things i can have in each one of them so stick around for that and like I said earlier, we are super grateful for the opportunity to be able to give one of these away to someone here in the fan gang. Really, really appreciate it. That's an amazing gesture from Vaulted, who is so far, as far as I've experienced, making consistently great products for us collectors here in the hobby. Instructions on how to enter that giveaway were earlier in the video, so go back and check those out. And don't forget to head over to Vaulted's socials and show them lots and lots of love and appreciation. If you guys like this video and you'd like to see me review more products that pertain to the hobby, Keep an eye on the description of my upcoming videos. That's where I announce my giveaway winners. And uh, once a winner has been selected, their information is gonna get passed along to Vaulted and they're gonna ship it out directly to the winner. If you wanna pick up your own Display Vault Air card edition, just head over to vaultedcollection.com. I'm gonna be picking up at least three more so that I can create a nice big grid of them. And especially if you have a lot of high value cards that you wanna display, I can't think of a better way to do it than this right here. If you have any thoughts or questions, leave them in the comments down below and I'll be sure to pass them along to Vaulted. Hope you enjoyed the video, fan gang. I'll catch you in the next one. And as always, happy haunting.